What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. We're going to be going over the original motive or at least one of the original motives from an early draft that was revealed by Radio Silence uh, a week ago at this point. I don't believe too many people have made videos on this or I haven't seen a lot of articles about this either. I don't think too many people have talked about it, but I know a lot of people have been clamoring to know what that original motive was and just find out what was changed i don't think this is completely what the motive would have been if sydney were involved maybe it would have been i'm just guessing uh but before i get to that i want to touch on this tweet by viewer nine that kind of went over a deleted scene that was removed from the theatrical cut of scream six so we're primarily going to be talking about the original motive that existed in an early draft before it settled on richie's family and wanting revenge for the death of Richie and exploiting the conspiracy theory crowd out there and trying to assassinate Sam's character because it was easy to make people believe the worst and believe the best and ultimately frame her to complete the revenge plan against her for killing Richie. So before we dive into that, I'm going to touch on this deleted scene that Viranon pointed out. It was a scene I was actually looking forward to seeing when I sat down to look at the theatrical version and I noticed it was cut. And by the time the reveal came, I was like, they were probably smart to, to cut it out. That sequence would have been Detective Bailey standing over Quinn's body at the crime scene, or I guess the aftermath of when she died, because we know she didn't. He ordered everyone else off the scene and said he was the only one who could handle her. Now, viewer and I went on to say a couple sources said we never saw her face in the scene, which made the fake out pretty obvious. When I first learned about this, I was like, one or two things. It's not going to be in the theatrical cut at all. Or it's going to be shortened or trimmed or tweaked in some capacity to lessen how obvious that would make Detective Bailey. Because just reading and hearing about that, that was making me like, okay, they're going to have to do something with this. And I'm glad it actually wasn't in the final cut. People already thought that the killers were obvious. And I would argue that this would have just cemented it before the reveal even came. Because I think what they did do a great job of is at least making you doubt your trust in who you thought the killer was because as a seasoned scream fan i wouldn't say i ever expect any scream movie to completely shock me anymore when it comes to who these killers are there's a lot of things that as you watch you should be picking up on the clues if you're someone paying attention there's a lot of things that point to detective bailey a lot of things that do point to quinn a lot of things that do it kind of kind of point to ethan i think quinn and bailey have the most clues ethan might have been the most shocking in terms of the clues department but even even still with with that in mind ethan bailey quinn as you watch the movie the design of if you're trying to tell something logical you should be picking up on it so i don't expect any screen movie to really shock me anymore because i'm i i like to pick up on things <laughs> just to jump into the deleted not the deleted but the altered motive or original motive that was part of a early draft that Radio Silence has now revealed in an interview with Cinema Blend. Again, they revealed this about a week ago at this point. So the alibi in Scream 6, we know, was going to be, or the plan was to say that some deluded fan who found the conspiracy theory online took matters into their own hands and targeted Sam and targeted her loved ones because they believed that Sam had committed the crimes and committed the murders in Scream 5 and that Amber and Richie were innocent that alibi that that story they were planning to come up with after they got done with sam that was going to be the motive according to according to our our team over at radio silence matt and tyler that was going to be the motive you were going to have some type of vigilante justice where you had a killer who or or killers who believed the theory about sam so it was going to be a conspiracy nut taking matters into their own hands here's my thing I don't see how I don't see why that could have been fused into what we got with Richie's family. In a lot of ways, I know many people would argue they would have preferred that. I don't mind what we got. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't mind what we got. Again, I have never been someone who watches these movies and go like, oh, wow, that was such a cool motive. I, the only motives I really love are the motives in four and five, only because I found them to be the most eye opening. I found them to be the most thought provoking. And I thought I found them to be the most, you know, just relevant in terms of things happening in the world. The motives in one, two and three, they all make sense. And they're all something I'm like, ah, OK, that's reasonable. 
ah, I get where you're coming from, but none of them ever really made me go, oh my God, this is incredible. Same thing with Six. It's, there's nothing wrong with the motive though. I'm not one of those people who, who will say, just because you didn't blow me away, that this is a terrible motive. I don't think it's a terrible motive at all. I will recognize that I think that if you fused it with the original motive, it could have been much better. I don't see why it couldn't have been done like this. Giving us Richie's family, who were delusional enough to think that Sam actually did get away with what she did in Screen 5, and that Amber and Richie were innocent. You could have had a whole monologue that brought up Cotton Weary and how they don't see why Sam couldn't have done it because your father did it. That would have been a perfect way to reference Cotton Weary. Imagine if one of them had brought that up. That would have just made their reveal, I think, that much better if they took it in this direction. These people were deluded enough because they actually admitted they, that they knew Sam was innocent. But what if they believed that she was actually guilty? What if they believe she was actually guilty? They could have easily mentioned in their monologue how it's no wonder it's no wonder you got away with it. I mean, hell, your father did it once. He blamed Cotton Weary for murdering Marine Prescott. So if he could do it, you can do it too. And that's exactly what you did when you blame my boy and his girl in Woodsboro for a crime that you committed. You're the first Loomis that got away with it, Sam, and you're going to pay for it. That could have been something incredible to see. That would have been a very fun way to reference Cotton Weary, recognize how these people uh, believe that Sam is the first Loomis to get away with it. They're they're acknowledging that she already has two other relatives who were ghost face killers. I mean, they already acknowledged them. They acknowledge Nancy and they acknowledge Billy. But that was going to be your original motive. It was going to be vigilante justice, somebody who believed that the conspiracy online about Sam was true. They were just conspiracy theory nuts. I don't mind it. I think it would have been fun. I mean, in a lot of ways, I've seen the argument that keeping it in in the background and not making it the main motive was the preference for some people, because I, I know that's what made five a little lackluster for some people. The fact that the motive ultimately was crazy fans who wanted a better movie. Um, so I, I get that some people actually prefer what we got. Again, I don't mind what we got. I would have preferred a different a different version of it that saw it still being Richie's family, but they legitimately believed Sam was guilty and they legitimately believe that she was the first Loomis who got away with it and they are upset about it. Now, there could have been some parts of them that did actually have doubts and they knew that Richie was guilty, but they didn't want to believe that. They wanted to believe that Sam did to make themselves feel better. So you guys can let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and there's a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.